Can you talk a bit about open questions? An open question is when the interviewer asks a question which gives the interviewee an opportunity to give a detailed answer. In an interview with Robert Downey Jr, Christian Guru Murthy asks what difference it makes that Iron Man is a self-made superhero. What difference do you think it makes that he is, he is a self-made superhero? Um, I think more than anything, the, I, I always played it like he's a guy who's in big business that you may or may not have judgment on. He's an arms dealer. And the metaphoric significance of having a piece of shrapnel from one of your own warheads blow up and then you actually have to, you have to build something to save your own life. I, I always thought that that was, that to me is just, it's kind of a new myth. This is a question that's impossible to answer with a simple yes or no. It forces the interviewee to go into detail. In comparison to closed questions, either might be better depending on the interview. A closed question is a question that can be answered with, with a yes or no. For example, a question like, are you okay, would be closed as it can be answered with one word. In an interview with Michael Howard, Jeremy Paxman repeatedly asked, did you threaten to overrule him? To be consulted. Did you threaten to overrule I, him? I was not entitled to instruct Derek Lewis, and I did not instruct him. And did the you truth threaten of, to overrule the, him? The truth of the matter is that Mr. Marriott was not suspended. Did you I threaten did not, to overrule him? I did not overrule Derek did Lewis. Did you threaten to overrule him? I took advice on what I could or could not did do. Did you threaten to I overrule him, Mr. Howard? I acted scrupulously in accordance with that advice. I did not overrule Derek Lewis. Did you Lewis. threaten to overrule him? Mr. Marriott him? was not suspended. Did you threaten to overrule him? I have accounted for my decision to dismiss Derek Lewis Did you threaten in to overrule him? detail before the House of Commons. I note you're not answering the question whether you... Th this is a closed question. However, Michael Howard persists in giving an open answer. He does this in order to get around the question. What is hard news? Hard news is direct and deals with relevant topics. An interview under the hard news style would only include fact and would be to the point. If we look at news bulletins, for example, if there was a story of a robbery, there might be a reporter at the scene and they would find witnesses. Questions would be asked like what happened, when did it happen? The answers to these questions give the interviewer direct and to the point information. Can you explain how a standard interview is structured? An interview would start with an introduction to the interviewee. They might say their name and what the interview is about. In order for the interviewee to feel comfortable, the interviewer needs to ask some developmental questions. For example, how are you? How is the journey? These questions can build rapport. Once the interviewee feels comfortable, the interviewer can get into the content of the interview. These questions are called key questions. These are the most important questions and this is what the viewer wants to watch and is where all the information lies. To wrap up the interview, the interviewer should conclude and finish with any other information and thank the interviewee. How would you make an interview feel comfortable? To make the interviewee comfortable, the interviewer should ask developmental questions. Body language is also key to making an interviewee comfortable. If the interviewer is sat slouching, not smiling and not looking at their interviewee in the eyes, they might feel uncomfortable and not know what to do with themselves. If the interviewer smiles, sits with a straight back and looks their interviewee in the eyes and uses positive hand gestures, the interviewee will feel comfortable and the interviewer will have an air of confidence about them. Making sure that the interviewer's voice isn't flat is also important as it can make them look uninterested in what the interviewee has to say. If their voice is fluid, it might keep their interviewee more alert to what's going on and keep them interested. Can you explain some of the problems interviewing over the phone can present? There can be some issues that rise over this method of interview. Something as small as a connection problem can cause the interview to fail. It's also difficult to read an interviewee over the phone. Because you cannot physically see them, the interviewer doesn't know what their body language is like. They can, however, still hear their tone of voice, so it still can be better than interviewing or gathering information or comments via email, where you have no indication of how they react to the questions. Can you explain how an interview in a magazine should be shown? A magazine interview might be spread across one or two pages. There'd usually be a large picture of the person being interviewed. The questions would be light-hearted in nature, and there might be an introduction at the top and the questions will normally be written in bold above the answers. The interviewer will usually be named at the end. Can you name some purposes of interviews? There are a few reasons an interview might be needed. One reason might be for research purposes. An example would be hard news interviews as they give direct information and it enhances the viewer's understanding of the topic. Another reason might be to give the viewer emotional insight into a situation. 
An example would be interviews on This Morning. The interviewee has usually undergone a significant or unfortunate experience and is now giving their account to show the audience what it was like. Once she gets home, her weight ballooned again. The last two years, uh, she has doubled to 40 stone, 6 pounds. Uh, she's here in the studio this morning. And alongside you, you've got a hypnotherapist and life coach, Steve McKeown, uh, who we'll talk to as well. <coughs> Georgia, why did it go so wrong after America? Well, I think uh, the first day I noticed it was when I, the first day I came back. Um, I had all these plans to continue um, what I did in America at home. Sure. And uh, it, it just didn't really go right. I mean, the first day I come back, we had, I had nothing healthy in the house to work with, so we ended up having fish and chips. Other interviews like information and interviews. Concentrate on extracting and presenting information clearly to the audience and interpretive interviews look to express opinion or justify an action.